Hi everyone. So where we left off on the last video, I was talking about how we can use the income statement and the balance sheet to help us prepare the statement of cash flows and how we can look at those two statements um, to find the specific accounts and how they would be classified on the statement of cash flows. But I want to give you some tips um, that are important when it comes to the statement of cash flows and things to remember. So a really important thing to remember is the difference between positive and negative cash flow. That's something really important in the statement of cash flows, okay? Because the whole purpose of the statement of cash flows is to tell us which activities bring cash in and which activities use up cash. So you always need to focus on the impact on cash, okay? And we say that positive cash flows are those cash flows that bring in cash, and negative cash flows are the cash flows that use up cash. And I say this, this may sound like you're like, yeah, duh, lady, I know. But the thing is, I've taught this enough to know that students sometimes get mixed up because they focus on the transaction, maybe other elements of the transaction, and they forget to focus on the cash. So let me give you an example of that. Okay, in this example, it says a company bought a machine for $10,000 cash. Is this positive or negative cash flow? Well, In that transaction, two things happen, as is true of any transaction, right? There's always a giving and a receiving, a give and a take. Um, and in this case, machine increased, right? The company got a machine, and in exchange, they gave up cash, so the cash decreased. Now, a lot of times, I'll have students get confused, and they'll say, oh, that's positive, because they're focusing on the machine, right? We got a machine, so our machine's going up, yes. But you have to focus on the cash impact. In this case, the cash decreased. So it's a negative cash flow because our cash went down. So make sure that when you're analyzing the, these transactions, you take it real slow, you think it through, and you figure out what was the impact on cash, okay? Not the impact on everything, just what was the impact on cash? Um, and a key thing that I want you guys to understand about cash flows is that negative doesn't always mean bad, right? We associate with positive with good and negative with bad, but it's negative isn't always bad when it comes to cash flows. Think about this transaction as an example, right? We bought a machine, and yes, that was a negative cash flow, but is that a bad thing? Is it bad that we bought a machine? No, I don't think so. The whole point, the reason why we bought this machine is because we thought this machine was going to maybe help us make our product. And then when we make this new product, we'll be able to sell it and make more money. So it's actually a good thing that we brought a machine. It's negative cash flow, but it's a good thing. So make sure that you kind of... Um, understand that difference. Disassociate the concept with of negative cash flow as always meaning bad. Okay, think about, yeah, it's negative cash flow. It used up our cash, but it's a good thing because it we got a new machine that's going to help us make a new product and help us make more money, right? That's the whole point of investing activities. We buy the, these um, machines or equipment because ultimately it's going to help us make money in the end. So this is something I, we're going to discuss a lot more in class um, that I want you guys to maybe start thinking about now so that you're prepared for our discussion in class. So for each category, I want you to think about, do we want cash flows here to be positive or negative? 
and write down a reason why. Why would you want it to be positive? Why would you want to be negative? So I encourage you to go back and review what things are operating activities, what things are investing activities, and what things are financing activities. And tell me, are the things that, that cause positive cash flows in those areas, are those good or bad? Are the things that cause negative cash flows in those areas, are those good or bad? And then tell me overall, would we want each of these items to be positive or negative? What would what would be best for our company? So think about that. Like I said, we'll talk about it more in class and I will uh, address any questions you have. Just shoot me an email. Thanks guys.